Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today to share with you um, a lovely dye that I got from Global Land. So Global Land is a fun um, online company that you can order um, all sorts of different craft supplies from, including dyes for doing cutting, etc. And they have asked me to partner with them to show you a few of their products. Um, and they've sent me some lovely things. So I am going to take this opportunity to also do like a bit of a scrap my scrap basket kind of like let's bring this down project and show you how to also hopefully use your scraps I will link down below in the description box this particular die so I selected this one it's florals and um it's for layering so you can create some fun layered florals so it's got all these and even like a little center there and then it's got these two little bits that are sort of like little kind of you know um, they look like the side of a page or something so I don't always break my dies apart sometimes I leave them together but today I'm going to break these apart because I want to use my little Sizzix sidekick um, and I just want to use scraps today so I'm not going to be running an entire the entire like die through my whole big um, die cutting machine so I'll just show you kind of <clears throat> excuse me how I um, initially break these apart I usually just grab a little plier and I will um, grab the other edge that I didn't get in the first <clears throat> in the first break so it's really easy these always come off very quick and simple just make sure that you know you get them into a trash can or a recycle bin or whatever because you don't want to step on these little pieces of metal my um, little pliers here are magnetic so that's a little helpful that they don't just fly away on me it doesn't take very long and it's a good way to just prep your dies before you store them I have started to store my dies on magnet sheets and it has made the whole experience a lot better. Those little plastic see-through envelopes with uh, magnet sheets. You can organize all your dies. It's great. One, two. So we'll just get these all clipped off so that we'll be ready to go. It's also my first time actually using this little sidekick. I got it so I could more frequently um, do die cutting. Because I think both like storage and like, you know, the utility of having something at arm's length will make you work in, in such a way, like keeping your inks on your desk, you're likely to use them, you know. So if you find there's something in your stash that like you're just not using all that much, maybe try moving the location of it to your desk. Okay, so that's that. Now let's just shift these over and I'm going to grab a little bit of scraps. A little bit of my scraps here. <laughs> so. My scraps are extremely varied, as you can see. So I think for this, I need to do some strips projects later for sure. Um, we can use that and that. This, not so much. Sometimes things like this get in my scraps, but I wanna use these as is. We can definitely use some of this. See, just random things. Okay, let's start with this. And if you you start to look at what you've pulled out and look at it like it's a color palette, okay? This is gonna be the color palette that we're working with. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of set all the scraps aside for a second and select one piece that I'm gonna use. Now I need to size it to be able to go with one of these, um, these cutting pieces here. So rip that down. I'll try to go through one at a time because then I know like I'm using up that whole scrap and that's wonderful news. <laughs> okay. So 
So now you take your Sizzix here, die cutting machine, and I haven't used this one like I mentioned before. The only thing I'm not so happy about is it doesn't have a magnet and I'm a real big fan of the magnet um, that I have with my other machine, the magnetic board. So this can go here and then this here and we might even be able to get one more on here. Yep. Okay, so now let's see if I know how to do this. This is my first time using this machine. I'm just uh, giving myself all the, oh yeah, you have to put this one on top, right? They're, they go between two on this thing. See, as you can tell, I've never used this before. So I'm giving myself a challenge. And I don't know if I have to align them a certain way. Also, I need to turn this because I am right-handed. Okay, there. What does this do? I don't know. I need to read the manual clearly. Okay. Yeah, that's going to go now. Okay, let's just... Once you do it once, I think, like, you know, it's going to be easier every other time you do it. There we go. And let's see if that cut on the first try. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh yeah. How pretty. Okay. You know, and you can use these negatives as well. They're really pretty. But I'm going to get my little pokey tool here so I can just poke this out. Oops, come here. Actually, I don't need the, the super sharp one. Where is my little... I have a... Um, paint, no, not a paintbrush thing. This thing. Hold on. This. This little ball bearing one. That's all you need to push that out. Oops. And I think I used very thin paper, so I may have tore that a little bit. That's okay. We'll still use that piece. It's not a big deal. this one out. Perfect. Okay, so we'll keep our flowers up here. Yeah, so those cut really well. And let me keep my tools up here. I'll just kind of arrange everything so I know I've got like everything in the right spot for you guys to see it all. Okay, so now I'll move on to the next piece of paper here and I'll use um, another different die big one here. Probably go with two for that one. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that cut beautifully again. And again. And those again are so pretty. I think I'll do something later on with those. Now. Third one. This way. Do another little one. will be the first of the pieces like in our our colorway that I that I mentioned. Cute, cute. And you know what those um, scraps would be nice on? The, the little leftover, they would be really nice on a collage board. Okay, maybe this.
see if that's big enough. Yep, it's good. A little too big. We'll go with this one. Oops. See, this is what I'm saying about not having a magnet. <laughs> I like having a magnet. That's nothing to do with the dies. That's everything to do with the machine. probably use. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got so far. These. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of these out off camera from all of these pieces. And then I'll come back and we'll have a whole bunch of nice flowers and we'll start building some of these flowers. Okay, so I'll be back in a snap. So we have quite a collection here. I got everything all cut out. Very, very excited to play with these. I got some of the little centers cut out as well. That's what these are, right? The little, um, the little centers of your flower and you will just kind of twirl it up like that and then you can lay those down. So I will show you how to make a few flowers with these. They are so cute. All right, so I'm gonna need glue. And then we just start kind of creating layers in colors that we're going to like. So I think the common denominator is the gold. It's good to have kind of a base color for this. So I think I'll start maybe at the back here. And, and keep in mind, you can also ink and paint these and do whatever you want if the colors of your scraps don't necessarily translate to what you want to make. Um, so we'll just layer these like that. Then... We put one of those in the center and I'm really happy with just that as it is, to be honest. It, it doesn't need to be super complicated. So I think the best whoops, way to go about this really is to just kind of go in, do a little bit of glue, like a glue dot in the middle there, lay your piece down and arrange it how you want. You can pick it up. Keep in mind that these are also bendable, like you can bend them up if you want them to be more 3D, if they're going to be going on the cover of something rather than inside a book. And you just start building. So there's one. Easy peasy. So cute. And that took very little time. Okay, so that's one. Let's try to do something with this bright bright. And maybe put this here just to tone it down a little. Assuming you want to tone it down, you don't really have to. There we go. Then I'll try one of these. So the way that I do these, you put the color you want to show on the inside. Then I add a little dab of glue and kind of, it will kind of catch a little bit there. And then I just go again on the top and you're just sort of layering and adding a little more glue. It's a bit like paper quilling really, and you could obviously wrap this around something else if you wanted, like a little, like a quilling tool or something. So then you end up with this little roll. So you see that little roll like that. And then you can just go in with something like 
this tool and kind of give it a little press around to just make the circle bigger. Then I just open all the petals and you see the black is what's going to show. That's the color that I want to see on the center of the flower. Okay, just kind of pop those all out and then that can go in the center. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to smoosh it together and I'm going to trim a little bit off of there because I want it to be quite flat and put it down again. And this is just a little more, you know, takes a little bit more effort, not, not a ton, but a little bit. And then just put it down in the center there. And you can just give it a smush. Now, that white glue is going to show for a little bit, but it won't after because it's our glitter glue. So then you just get a cool little center for your flower. So let's just keep on building these. I think this is a fun, relaxing activity. Global Land makes these kind of things like die cuts and such really affordable if you know you would like more of these kind of supplies but you can't really buy more expensive ones it's totally okay because they make them a little more affordable um, and I like that I like crafting to be as accessible as possible to everyone because then more of us can do it together go with a fourth layer on this one and I'm only putting glue on the center circles I'm not like building it up there you go fun right four layers let's go with the red at the bottom this time put a bigger one up here And a little center that's a different color. There's also these little round fun centers like this. One of these. A layer of gold. Again, having like one larger scrap to use as kind of a, a colorway that you can carry right on through, I think is very helpful when you're making these because it creates a little collection for you. And I love this flower center. This little one is really pretty. one too is really nice the um the one that has the little tiny sort of center tendrils there I think that one's one of my favorites too it's really cute okay these are great to have just like handy in your um your collage you know fodder book if you have you don't you should make one because they're so useful <laughs> there's little bits to keep on hand for when you're working and I'm setting these to the side but you're going to be amazed at how many I've already created in such a short time once I finish up and show them to you One of these wallpaper ones these are so pretty okay and then we'll do one of these centers maybe kind of 
So moosh that down. And I'll just go across the bottom. And then this is going to fan out the little pistols in the middle. And then you can smush down the paper as well. Like you don't have to cut it. You'll be able to smush it down if you want it to be flatter. So let's do one with that. Turn this around. There we go. Put the rest of these over here. You can obviously do them even a little simpler, like just two. That's two. If you don't want so many layers, you don't have to have so many. And then you can also use, you know, the same color multiple times. So then you just have like one common color, but you get like one simple flower. And then obviously these little bits, you could also use them just as is, right? You don't have to layer them at all. We'll just use up these last little few. So then we got a few little guys left. I will set those aside and let's just move the dies out of the way here. And then I'll show you all of our flowers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So how adorable are those? And they're so quick to make. Like, look at the fun details of these. Um, these are gonna be a really nice little stash to have uh, for making journals. And you know, I think something fun to do is let's say you're making a journal um, that has a specific colorway or a theme, like let's say pastel, you know, like you can go make a bunch of pastel, or if you're making a garden journal, go make some, you know, in in any color really of the garden, but like, let's say you were making a, a blue journal, you know, you can do shades of blue, or you were making a journal about, um, you know, I don't know, like, let's think of something untraditional, like, a chef or something, right? Like you could, you could choose the flowers that are edible, the colors of those, or like, just think about how you can work flowers into different themes and then play with some flowers. Cause they're an awful lot of fun.
So that is it for me for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this little Global Land um, sponsored video. And I will definitely link down below the link to these as well as the other upcoming products that you're going to see. I will have a couple more videos for things that they've sent to me. Um, and until next time, have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.